Red Pill Suppository Here I left the UK and now live in China, remember China. Funny how there is no social distancing and isolation here. It is almost like they were telling massive fecking lies with bells hanging off them. Don't worry about losing your home the government has some lovely pods waiting for you. It comes with a microwave and a mini fridge filled with your maggot sausages. See every cloud has a silver lining. Such perfect timing that this cough virus took hold during the Chinese New Year when most shops and businesses are closed and many people have left the city to visit their families for the holidays. Did you know that most factories close for about a month during the New Year? It looked like a ghost town, because it was one. And is every New Year. What you need now is a new flood of immigrants or a few natural disasters just to spice things up a little, must get boring watching your life swirling down the toilet all day waiting for the flu that is never going to come. Every year people die of the flu so just toss in everyone else that dies and chalk it up to Mexican beer virus and bingo you have a load of idiots that watch TV news and have to drive constantly checking the speed and not the road. I am sure that is saving lives just like you giving your life up so your 87-year-old grandmother can live another six months. You can't see this but I am giving you SJW jazz hands. Oh do feel free to visit my channel the Mexican beer video you might find interesting and perhaps a tad annoying, or my MGTO waffle but that is not the important part it is what I am filming that will fill you with rage and furious anger. Go on treat yourself, I do not run ads. Perhaps leave me a nasty comment to cheer me up before I take my dog for a walk in the park, might grab a corona or two to toast the old country of retards. Yeah no SJW, NPCBS here, you know you can actually talk to women without a Me Too or a police intervention. Crazy uh and this is supposed to be a communist country. A pound for a pack of Marlboro and I can buy vodka at any time of the day or night. The shops are full of delicious food and the women are not all fat foul mouthed waddling beer itches. 83 degrees Fahrenheit here at the moment, how's the weather over there, hold on let me check. 42 and raining in Bristol. So I better go to the park in a t-shirt and shorts here, but if you are in Bristol take an umbrella, what am I saying you can't go out you naughty children. Daddy government says so, now go to your mirror and repeat this, I am a fecking idiot and I will never believe those lying cunts again. Then call the police and tell them your next door neighbor keeps coughing loudly, and as they drag him or her or both kicking and screaming to the concentration camp, oops sorry quarantine of bliss and happiness, then make the day by calling out it was you that called the police. Do not worry you will never see them again. Perhaps watch some porn to fill the void, are you allowed to over there? But anyway you probably have already overdone it today and anyway tissue paper is in short supply. Three more weeks, are you down to the old tin of sardines lurking in the back of the cupboard yet and horrible marmite is all you have to spread over that stale bread. Just scrape the mold off, remember there is a deadly virus out there anyway so live for today. Because tomorrow Boris might extend it another week or two. Strange how Boris claims to have caught nothing, that happened a lot in different countries that leaders and politicians caught the faux virus. A cynical person might see a massive problem with that. Remember to rush out and get your vaccination containing toxins and remember you legally cannot sue the company that makes this toxic brew, but don't worry that they have never had any clinical trials I am sure it will be just fine. I have some magic beans to sell if you are interested. Strange also how yet again they were having virus drills in Wuhan just before again it all went live. 
and remember Bill Gates the man that publicly stated he wanted to reduce the population is behind the patent of the vaccine also strange how that was patented long before this. He truly is a wonderful man and unlike his father and grandfather totally not into all that nasty eugenics. So you can trust Dr. Bill Gates seeing as he is an expert on contagious what call it's and stuff. Well UK say bye-bye to what was left of any rights you had. No need for a legal system now, all they have to do is point at you and scream, infected, and off you go to an undisclosed location for, well as long as they want. Must be really warming the cockles of your hearts. <coughs> Huh. <laughs>